Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling and Cooking with me, A.B. Now today's cook, listen, we're going to use this sous vide machine right here. Listen, I'm going to sous vide a ribeye, and this is inspired by Lassie's Food and Barbecue. After watching his video, which I'll put a, a link to his page, his channel, in the description box below. Look, after watching him do his and how his came out, I had to try it. That gave me the courage. I bought this Innova sous vide uh, precision cooker i bought it maybe mid-december and i've had it ever since then you know and i just been trying to work up the courage to go ahead and give it a shot never even opened it up out of the box but after watching lassie's food and barbecue video and i've seen several other videos but lassie's is the one that uh sent me over the edge that's the one that just pushed me over uh, after watching that opened it up uh, got everything together used his video as my uh that's my guide so this, what I cooked, turned out to be just like his. So I want to say, hey, thank you, Lassie. Without you, buddy, this wouldn't have went down. So after opening it up, this is uh, the precision cooker that comes inside of it. And for those of you that don't know how this actually works, okay, right here I'm showing the tub. This is a 12-quart tub. You know, hold, it just holds water. This right here is a heater. Stick it in, heats the temperature, uh, the water up to the temperature that we set or you set once you do that. You cook it for whatever time you have, then you take it out, you pat it dry, then you, you know, if you're doing steaks, then you put it on either the grill or you can put it in a cast iron uh, skillet and, you know, sear it, you know, each side, one minute, one minute, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, or however you like it. And uh, that's the whole method of uh, sous vide. It's just cooking it inside of water, you know, in a, a vacuum seal bag if you have a, a food saver. If not, putting it in a, a Ziploc bag, that works too if you squeeze all the air out of there. So that way the water gets completely around it. So just think of this as the oven. Instead of using heat, you know, in the oven, we're using water as a surrounding and that's how we cook the meat. You know what, let me go ahead and give it, you know, let's get into the rating system. The rating system goes like this, you know, from zero to 10, 10 being the most difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six. And the reason I'm gonna give it a six is, listen, everything is easy. Putting it in a Ziploc bag is easy. Squeezing the air out is easy. You know, seasoning the steak how you like to season it. That's all easy. Uh, the part that comes uh, difficult is, you know, getting your temperature set right. But I will say that came with the app, because this works Bluetoothly, you know, and it comes with the app that you can use on your phone, which I'll show you guys in this video. Uh, they have recipes and great suggestions, you know, a great zero starting point. You know, a lot of that depends on the thickness of your meat, things like that. But it'll get you to a zero and then you fine tune your game from there. But if you're looking to get your meat a certain way, that's where you got to pay attention to and, you know, memorize your settings. And in the app, you can save your settings and things like that. OK, so again, I give it a six. You know what I mean? Because, listen, we, we got to stay with it. We got to, you know, achieve the goal that we want. Uh, you can go, you know, if you want to get it rare, you set it, you know, and try to get it the way you like your meat for rare. You know, then you got medium well, well done for those of you that like well done uh, meat, you know, things of that nature. So, with, you know, I don't want to over talk it. I, I'm, I'm eager to get into it to show you guys, you know, you know how to do it, you know, and, and, and to bring sous vide, you know, to everybody else that's uh, new to it. Uh, so with no further ado, let's get it in.
Okay. <clears throat> Let me take the time to show you, you know, how this works and what you're looking at right here. This right here is the temperature of the water. Okay, right now you see it says it's 108.9 degrees Fahrenheit. I have it set for Fahrenheit. And this right here, this temperature right here, this is 130 degrees. That's what we're trying to uh, achieve. So you set it here and here is two ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you the first way. If you look right here, you see this uh, blue, blue wheel, you can roll this up or you can roll it down. I can set it for 133 or I can set it at 119. But we wanna go to 130 degrees because I'm gonna cook these ribeye steaks at 130 degrees for two hours. So we put it back at 130 and that's that. So this will keep rising till it gets there. Once it gets close, like maybe like one degree away from it, it'll start beeping, letting you know it's almost ready. And then, it'll, you know, then you go ahead and you use the app. You can start it there or you can push this button right here where it says uh, uh, start. Okay, now let me show you how the app works. Let me go ahead and bring up the app. There it is, and over. Okay. We got it. And okay, right here, it says set the temp. We wanna set it for 130. Right now, it's restoring the uh, wireless connection, which will actually be the uh, Bluetooth. You see right there now it says preheating. And this right here matches what's on the uh, screen right now. So we wanna uh, edit the uh, timer. We want two hours, that's already put in there, but I'll show you again. Let's just say I'll change it so that you can see it. Then I would hit set timer, but we wanna go two hours. So we clear that and we just go two, zero, zero, and that's two hours. Then we say set the timer. And there you go. It says right there the target temperature and the current temperature. And then right underneath you'll see the clock. And that little clock right there represents how much time we want to use, you know, set it for. So we're going to let it continue to rise. We're 15 degrees outside of uh, 130. And then when we go, you know, reach 130, we'll insert the uh, ribeyes inside of the water, start the timer, and we'll wait. Okay, you can see. We're approaching 130 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. We have 129.7. So what I'm getting ready to do is, actually I'm getting ready to start adding uh, my ribeyes, get those inside. That way once we reach this temperature, I can hurry up and uh, you know start it. So you can see, we've reached 130. I'll go ahead and set these up. And what I'm using is a binder clip, you know, just to clip it onto the edge right here, just to hold it so that the meat doesn't wander around. They make a tray that you can put inside of there with slots in it, so you can put all of your, uh, your food, your meat inside these slots. That'll be my next uh, purchase. Okay, we got those in there. We put the lid on top. And just to explain the functionality of the uh, lid, that's to keep the water from uh, evaporating so quickly. So it'll evaporate, hit the top, and then recirculate itself. <clears throat> Without that, uh, you lose, you know, you probably lose a little water if you're cooking for a long uh, period of time. Okay, so you can see the temperature went down just, you know, slightly, you know, due to putting in uh, room temperature uh, meat, but it'll quickly bring it back on, you know, bring it back up to uh, 130 degrees, and we'll start to cook. Now I started the timer, you know, through the app, and you can see it says two hours. 130 degrees this is getting ready to uh get back to 130 degrees exactly and there's a two hour timer and we start it okay well, now i want to show you just a couple other things about the app right here they got my recipes it says your favorite time and temp at the tap of a button then you have guides get time and temp with our sous vide guides uh, and then you got recipes so let's just hit recipes and then you can see right here they rank by stars that, this one right here has four out of five stars. This says 129 degrees for four hours. Uh, so you can look at it this way. You know, get yourself some ideas for those of you that are new, which includes myself. And again, I gotta say, this goes out to 
Lassie's Food and Barbecue. Because without him, that's what gave me the courage to go ahead and do it. Now, I've watched several videos, but after seeing him doing, doing it, his uh, meat, his ribeyes came out so, out so perfectly, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try it. And again, just, just giving you an idea of some of the things you can do, you know, with it. Look, sous vide beef, uh, beef pear steak. Okay. So we go back. You got these guys right here. Then you can like look up different things, you know, to help you get your temperature right and your times right. Let's just say, let's look at chicken. Chicken breast. There you go. Tender, juicy, slightly stringy. 150 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour and then you know look you gotta love this app so maybe this will give you the courage you know to uh to go ahead and try sous vide uh i love it i'm getting into it i'm gonna run a nice little series of doing several different types of meats and cooking them this way and then you know you have my recipes with nothing is found I haven't done anything yet you know found any recipes to put in there so we'll go back to preheating and here we go we, our target range is 130 and right now we have 121.5 and rising. Alexa, set a timer. One minute. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. Alexa, off. Oh. 